Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shane Marie and I'm here with a new video. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, um, this video was not highly requested, but a lot of people asked me this in my DM, so I decided I should just make a video so I'm not constantly repeating myself. Um, yeah, so it's basically going to be about how I became a brand ambassador slash fashion influencer and some tips on how you can get started. So, um, yeah, just make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I post a video and I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, so first things first, um... I decided that I wanted to kind of be a fashion influencer when I think it was probably like crap probably in 2018 probably like 2016 I think like two three years ago is basically when I actually started doing a, like brand ambassador and everything like that um yeah so like one day a brand called Uptown Edgy reached out to me and this is when I had my joint channel with my best friend Shirley um, and they reached out to me and they asked if we can promote their clothes on our YouTube channel and that was the first time someone um, that was the first time a brand sent products to me for free um, so they sent the clothes and we did a try on haul for YouTube and everything and posted our pictures on Instagram um, and then after that, that's when I was just like, oh snap, like we can start getting clothes for free. I want to keep doing this so I don't have to buy clothes all the time because before they reached out to me, I would just post like fashion pictures with the clothes I already had or I'll go shopping and um, just buy clothes and, you know, style it and post my outfit pictures on Instagram because I was just into fashion. So that's what I used to do anyways. And then when the brand reached out to me, I'm like, wait, like, if I keep doing this, I can get these clothes for free. So after that, I was like determined and everything like um, I wanted to definitely continue doing that. But um, with that collaboration, I ended up getting sick. So that I can't remember the year. I think it was like two years ago now. But um I ended up getting sick and I was in the hospital for a whole month and um, I didn't really get to finish their collaboration. Um, they kept checking up on me like I hope you're doing good um, and everything like that and for a second I kind of thought they didn't believe that I was in the hospital and everything like that because they kind of kept pushing me and stuff and I'm like yeah I'm still here I'm still here but um yeah, so finally, once I got out the hospital and everything like that, I got better. I ended up finishing their collab, but um, I think they stopped working with me because of, you know, how long I was in the hospital for, but because it was supposed to be a long time collaboration. But hey, anyways, you know, I'm on to bigger and better things, um, but they opened the door for me and everything like that. So after i got better once i got out of the hospital i continued to you know post my pictures and everything like that and then i took like another break for like four months after i got out of the hospital because you know i had to go do something i can't say but well i'm not going to say but i had to go do something so i took a break for um like four months when i came back i'm just like you know i have to go hard you know it's grind mode and everything like that so I was like, I had these white Fashion Nova jeans that I brought and I'm like, I need to take a bomb picture in these Fashion Nova high-waisted jeans because at that time I knew they like was posting people and everything like that. So I'm like, I need to f like have them, you know, reach out to me or see my pictures. So um, I took, uh, I took pictures in the high-waisted pants. I have a picture actually, one second. So it was this day. I had these high waisted pants on, but this is not the picture that I posted on Instagram. I took a different picture. Um, but yeah, so I was like, I need to take a picture and have Fashion Nova notice me, or I need to send my picture to Fashion Nova and ask if I could promote their clothes. 
and I remember because I was into Fashion Nova and I'm like I want to buy their clothes and I ended up buying these pants and I brought a set a tan set and I'm like their clothes fit really good I need them to send me some clothes so um once I took the picture I um what you call it uh I found their email and I emailed them well actually I went to the customer service and I emailed them the picture and I was asking them that and then the customer service directed me to their PR they gave me their PR's email so um yeah and then after they the I spoke to the PR and um she was basically like at that time yeah at that time I think I had like 10k followers so they I don't know about now how many followers you have to have now to be in collab like you know, have a collaboration with Fashion Nova but when I first started I had 10k okay, so I was at 10k and that's when I first started working with Fashion Nova and then after that Fashion Nova posted me I believe like once or twice and then when they posted me other brands started reaching out to me because I I like kept being consistent with my outfit pictures and everything like that so um yeah so that's how I got some of my collaborations as well um also a hair company hair company started reaching out to me and everything like that so I can say that um from me working with Fashion Nova I did get a lot of brands that reached out to me after um I collaborated with them and I still collaborate with them to this day um, at first they didn't pay me or anything like that. Um, yeah, but you know, other brands start to pay and stuff like that. It depends on how much traffic you're bringing to their company. But, um, yeah, after Fashion Nova, I worked with, you know, Pretty Little Things. I worked with, um, RPG Show, Diva Wigs, um, Eunice Hair, um, so many brands that I've worked with some of them reached out to me some I reached out to them um yeah so basically how like that's how I started and when I reach out to brands I either like contact their customer service about you know becoming a brand ambassador for their brand and I'll tell them my Instagram like take a look at my Instagram and you know see if you're willing to work with me so that's one way you could reach out to a brand is by like contacting the customer service and like telling them you want to become a brand ambassador for them and usually they'll direct you to their PR person they'll send you the PR um, email and what you have to do is just write a brief um, email saying how you like their brand you know you, like I'm a big fan of your company and everything like that I love your clothes and I would like to become a brand ambassador for you guys. Here's my Instagram. Check it out. And then usually they'll get back to you if they like what they see. And they'll see, um, first they'll give you free clothes and then they'll see how well you do. Sometimes they give you promo codes to promote and that's how um, they can track how much sales you're bringing to them. And depending on that, they may pay you or, you know, they might just continue to give you free clothes to promote, which... Um, sometimes depending on the brand is a good thing even if you don't get paid in a sense because it gives you content to post like if you're trying to be consistent on Instagram it gives you content to post so you'll constantly be getting um, clothes and everything like that so you can be consistent on um, your Instagram and if it's a big brand some if your pictures are really good they post you and then you gain following from that so um yeah and then um that's like the main thing and usually you have to just have a certain amount of followers now that social media is like really popular now um before when share for share was like you know popular i would do share for share that's how i kind of got my 10k um but after that i started growing a lot when I started working with brands and you know certain um, fashion pages would like my outfit and share me so my following started to go up from that but um yeah basically and um you have to have a following nowadays at least 10k is like um the most the company would work with you like if it's a big company if it's an up-and-coming company maybe like 
5,000, you know, depends on if you have more followers than them. Um, a lot of up and coming brands may pay um, off the bat. They may pay you because, you know, they're up and coming so they kind of have no choice but to get their stuff out there. Yeah, sometimes they might give you like a discount code if they're not willing to send it for free. Maybe in your like, you don't have enough following. Maybe they give you a discount code to buy their stuff and have like, you know, you promote it. But that's kind of whack. I wouldn't want to buy. Like the whole point is to like get it for free or get paid for it and stuff. But um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. Um... Yeah, I can't really think of anything, but you definitely have to be like consistent, everything like that. And once you get into it, um, you can obviously, if you have a YouTube, you can obviously also post on your Instagram or post on your YouTube and everything like that. Um, yeah, so like I said, some brands pay you, some brands don't, and I choose, um, you know, whichever brands I want to pay me, depending on how big the brand is and everything like that. I'll do a few for free or something like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it saves you a lot of money. Like, I get clothes, shoes, accessories, hair, a lot of things that I get from these brands. And I barely buy clothes or hair or shoes or anything like that. So, it saves you a lot of money. If you decide to be like really consistent and you know post quality pictures and everything like that um yeah and basically when you are working with brands and if it starts coming in a lot more um, often um, I had like a template that I sent to them basically showing my credentials, my um, statistics and everything like that, you know, like how many girls or guys are following me, um, things like that, like my statistics or my demographics and everything like that because brands like to see that to see um, basically how much traffic you're going to bring to their website or their company. So I will have like, I have a media kit. Um, at first, I didn't have one, and I reached out to another fashion influencer. Her name is Julissa, and she gave me a lot of tips and helped me create a, um, you know, she gave me kind of like a guideline um, of what she sends to brands. And I also asked a girl named Becca, um, and she told me how she responds to brands and everything like that. So obviously, if you are um, stuck on something, like reach out and just gain as much knowledge as you can i'm still up and coming and everything like that so i don't know all the answers and i want to actually redo um my template or my media kit and everything like that because sometimes a lot of brands um sometimes you can get rejected from brands so you know don't get discouraged or anything like that just keep being consistent and you know keep doing what you have to do and, you know, some brands will work with you, some brands won't. But like I said, don't get discouraged. And I also Googled it, you know, things to say to brands when they contact you and stuff. Like, just do your research and everything like that. Or ask around, um, ask other influencers. They might be nice enough to send you their template so you can, you know, look over something and create your own and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm out this like dry. Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you guys um, and you know I gave you some ideas and you know don't give up keep trying do your research and everything like that um, like I said if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the description box below or DM me or whatever the case may be but see you next time